Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm going to show you and teach you how to remove clicks from your vocals in FL Studio 20. This is going to be something that is really going to help you to remove uh, clicks in a very simple way. So let's say you're recording and in the midst of your vocal, you realize that uh, when you listen to that vocal, there are some clicks inside that vocal. So how do you do? How do you remove them in uh, FL Studio 20? So what you do is um, locate where your vocal is and uh, just left click by double clicking that vocal. And then from there, hold CTR or control and E so that it can open up in Edison Audio Editor. So CTR and E, this is going to open up. And uh, this is my vocal. So what you do is locate where that uh, where the clicks are. So in this case, let me just look for clicks. Gotta get praising God, no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God, I gotta get praising God with my hands high. Hands to me, I gotta get praising God, I gotta get praising God, no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God, I gotta get praising God with my hands high. Let's look for a vocal that has some clicks. I just wanna praise my God. So this one right here has a uh, click so control E and then let's try to check this one right here. I just want to praise my God. I just want to raise him high. So here we are we have these clicks right here. So what you do is just uh, highlight where the clicks are and then come to clean up right uh, on this one which is uh, which looks like a toothbrush so you just have to like click on it right uh, left click on it and then this is just gonna open up and then from there turn off the noiser and turn on the clicker and what the clicker is gonna do is that it's just gonna fix the area where the clicks are now this is sen sensitivity the more you increase the more the uh, clicks are gonna go the less the better uh, and the natural your vocal is gonna sound so let's say we like I take it all the way to the max and then click accept now this one is a preview where you can like preview uh, what is what what our cleanup is doing you can take it back and so that click is there but when I take it up all the way to less and medium the click is just uh, slightly there but when I take it here you realize that this click is just gonna disappear the moment I just hit accept for example uh, check this out the click is gone so it's like the vocal is gonna just um, uh, sound like this I just wanna raise him high but before it was like this uh, let me just undo so before the vocal was like that I just this one right here. I just want to. I just. Wanna, so this one is a click. So let's say you've got a lot of clicks. You can just uh, just highlight where the click is and um, go into Edison. Go into Edison just like that. Come to the toothbrush and then turn off the noise. This one is used when you want to take out the noise. The clipper is used when you want to take out clipper uh, clipping uh, if your audio is clipping the clicker is used when you want to take out the in your vocals that this is very handy and very helpful so mine is set on uh, 60 let me put it on 64 62 I mean and just hit accept this is just going to disappear just like that now once you're done with that what you do is um drag this into your playlist or for, or you can uh um just come to send to playlist right here or you can use this to drag and drop or you can just come here and say send to playlist as audio clip then what is going to happen is that it's just going to send that clip into into um edison and uh, it's gonna be like this so what you just have to do is align it just like i have aligned this i can take out this if i want to like 
if I want this out, I can take out that and just uh, draw this one in, like just like that. And that is just gonna be inside. So guys, this is how you take out clicks uh, in FL20. I hope this video has helped you. If this video has helped you, don't forget to share it and like it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>